My name is Pete. I've been working with Fujifilm cameras ever since the original X-Pro1 was released over 10 years ago. In 2016 I got a chance to work with a pre-production GFX50S in India and I fell head over heels in love with Fujifilm's medium format camera system. The image quality, the resolution, the ease of handling, it was all there in a strikingly compact and lightweight body given its performance. A couple of years later I took the 50R to Ethiopia and even later I took the GFX100 and 100S to Papua New Guinea, Thailand and Cambodia. When Fujifilm Belgium suggested I could try the new GFX100 Mark II for a couple of days, I didn't have to think twice. So, for this project, I traded my trusted aging character faces for modern architecture. I swapped my typical fast shutter speeds for much longer ones and I took the camera and a couple of lenses to the Dutch city of Rotterdam. Rotterdam was heavily bombarded during the Second World War and as a result it boasts an incredible concentration of modern buildings. Many people arriving in Rotterdam do so through the city's central station which also made for a perfect first subject. One of my favorite lenses for environmental portraiture is the GF20-35 and I was happy to see that this lens is also a dream for shooting architecture. The GFX100 Mark II has two card slots, one CF Express and one SD. I set mine to shoot RAW plus JPEG large fine as this gives me the highest magnification to check my focus when I play back the photo. From the central station, it's a short metro ride to the famous cube houses. Shooting here reminded me about my favorite accessory in the GFX lineup, the EVF tilt adapter. I like to compose and review my shots as much as possible through the viewfinder, which is now so big and bright it almost feels like a home cinema. The tilt adapter makes it easier to experiment with different compositions without needing a visit to a chiropractor afterwards. While it's a great technique to tilt your camera up to create converging lines and diagonals, sometimes when shooting architecture, you just want walls to be vertical. That's where the new GF30 tilt shift lens shines. Its ability to tilt the lens and to shift it an incredible 15 mm up and down makes it a dream for anyone shooting architecture and high-end real estate. No visit to Rotterdam is complete without shooting the iconic Erasmus Bridge. The long exposures help to minimize distractions everywhere else and make the bridge stand out even more. Shooting long exposures like this really gives you a chance to appreciate the small improvements that Fujifilm added to this sixth model in the GFX lineup. From the slightly angled top plate with its even more informative and highly customizable screen, over the slightly textured finishing of the body, down to the Ethernet and full-size HDMI ports and the large array of customizable function buttons. When you're photographing a city, sometimes the best photo opportunities arise in between the places you plan to shoot. Here I was on my way to photograph the Red Apple building when I stumbled across this fine example of brutalist architecture. I switched to the GF100-200 to zoom to make a more abstract composition. I also love how I can set the GFX100 Mark II up to shoot in 16-bit. 
This gives me the ultimate dynamic range and post-processing options. After shooting no people at all for an entire day, I was tempted to try out the new GF55 1.7 on an actual person, so I could not resist making a couple of images of videographer Matthias. The large 1.7 maximum aperture of the GF55 allows you to really isolate your subject and makes it an interesting fast prime addition to any GFX user's lens arsenal, even if like me, you already own the excellent GF32-64 or the GF35-70. After two intense days of walking and photographing, I came to the conclusion that Rotterdam is a great destination for a photographic city trip and that the GFX100 Mark II is an equally fantastic camera to accompany you on any photographic journey.